About a month ago, it was week eight of winter quarter. The time when everything in life would get louder and more chaotic than it should ever be. I finally had enough with the insane schedule of school and had decided to leave the valley for the weekend. Before I knew it, I was setting up camp on the edge of a cliff at Vantage, Washington with my friend and avid climber, Braden. After putting up our tent, we cooked some ramen over our stoves and sat on our lawn chairs gazing at the canyon. Afterwards, we threw our gear in the cabin and crawled into our sleeping bags, praying for good weather the next morning. As the sun came up the next day, we woke up at 7 to the West Canyon wall on fire. The previous night's darkness had dissipated and we could see the color of the sunrise that painted the granite a burning orange. Relighting the embers from last night's fire, we boiled water in Braden's teapot to make coffee in his French press. We soaked up the sun and stuffed ourselves with hash browns, sausage, and turkey bacon for breakfast. The meetup time drew near, so we packed up our gear and cleaned up camp to head to Frenchman Coulee, where we would meet up with the rest of our friends. After a couple of routes, we hiked to Sunshine Wall, where there was an even more extensive layout of much taller rock to climb. As I focused on catching my breath and observed my surroundings of familiar faces and terrain, I was greeted with this foreign sense of silence. A silence that was much needed. All too soon, the silence was interrupted, and the day came to an end. During the ride back, I reflected on how I hadn't spent time in silence in such a long while, but I forgot what it felt like. So here's to silence, and to find more of it amidst this crazy world of ours.